Hello and welcome. In this short video I will present how to back up and store configuration files from the SPC intrusion system. For this presentation we presume you already have an account set up and registered a panel to that account. We start by logging onto SPC Connect and selecting the panel groups. We select the feature and settings on panel groups we wish to enable the service on. We can now see an overview of all the services available to you. In order to enable the configuration manager, which manages the backup of configuration files, we select the Enable SPC Config Manager option. Depending on the system settings and other operations, you may choose to backup the configuration every time a change is made by the engineer or system user. To do this, please enable the event trigger. When this option is enabled, the SPC will send an event after the configuration has changed and the SPC Connect server will then request a backup of the configuration file from the panel. Alternatively, if the configuration changes on a regular basis, you may choose to periodically backup the file. To do this, you select Auto Update Mode and by using the drop down menu, you can choose the period from daily to monthly. By selecting one of the periods, the SPC Connect server will request a backup at the defined interval. When completed, click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. To manually request a configuration file, we first go to Panel Groups. By selecting the Operations button within the Panel Group and SPC Configuration Manager tab, we are presented with an overview of all SPC intrusion systems in the Panel Group. In our case, we are presented with a single panel. By clicking on the Backup Latest SPC Configuration File button, the latest backup of the panel configuration file is requested from the SPC system. This is now displayed alongside the panel name. By selecting a new backup, the latest configuration file will be added to the list. To view the configuration files, click on the Config History button. The information on this page is vital as it informs you when the configuration was taken from the system, that they are valid configuration files and the firmware version of the system they came from. You also have new buttons, SPC Config Details, XML Compare, Delete SPC Config and Restore Config. By selecting SPC Config Details, you have the option to add a note as to why you manually requested a configuration file. Type the information into Installer Notes, for example, Demo Download. This note will be stored in the system and visible to all installers who have access. The XML Compare button compares your configuration file with the previous one taken from the same SPC system. This allows you to verify any changes made in the system configuration. All modifications are color-coded and this makes it easy to determine if settings have been deleted added or modified. The Delete SPC Config button removes the configuration file from the SPC Connect portal. Please note that when deleted this file cannot be restored. Finally the Restore Config button sends the selected configuration file to the SPC system. This is useful when replacing an SPC system controller as all the information can be sent to the new controller instantly. It is also useful if an engineer makes a configuration mistake. The restore can quickly override any error. For any reason, if a configuration file is required locally, you can download the file from SPC Connect Portal by going into the SPC Config Details option. By clicking on SPC Config File button, the file can be saved to your local server. The SPC Configuration Manager has been designed to offer you a flexible, powerful tool to support your business. For more information on the valuable services offered by SPC Connect, please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you and goodbye.